This official Monarch way station is at a suburban home in Landisville, Lancaster County. Rambunctious. Kelly Korak and her family have watched hundreds oh, of the a, pollinators they've oh, raised a, take flight oh, from inside oh, this homemade good. butterfly yep, release cage. It's just very gratifying. It's um, kind of like sending off one of your kids. They do a pretty good job of catching the eggs. John Korak checks the variety of milkweed plants in their garden every day for monarch eggs. So I have to come down and look underneath the leaves and um, you know, sure enough, there'll be an egg right on the underside of the leaf. Lately, we're getting about 50 to 70 eggs a day. Those eggs are put in containers that are stacked up in the Korak dining room, giving them a better chance of survival inside. They're transferred to cages as they become caterpillars and then bright green chrysalis. Kelly works with the organization monarch.org. She's learned to spot the caterpillars that will become migrators. This one is fatter. They need to be bigger, fatter, to be able to make the trip down to Mexico. The Corax will use these tiny stickers to tag their migrators. If Monarch Watch finds any of them in Mexico, they'll get a notification. It would be really cool in the first year that one of our butterflies makes it all the way to Mexico. I talk to them and tell them how pretty they are. The project is a lot of work, but Kelly says it's worth it to see the miracle of this metamorphosis. Oh, that was so pretty. In Lancaster County, Susan Shapiro, WGAL News 8.